In the wake of the shootings in Georgia, the NBC10 investigators looked into reports of bias and hate crimes by people of Asian descent in Philadelphia. While they found an increase, only one incident was prosecuted. NBC10 investigative reporter Claudia Vargas looks at the reason and breaks down the numbers. Despite the horrific murders at Asian run spas in the Atlanta area and crimes against Asians elsewhere in the country, Philly has been relatively lucky. I think we've been fortunate that we haven't had that type of anti Asian violence like that we've seen in New York or, you know, in uh, Oakland uh, or. Um, all across the country. We Randy Duque is the acting executive director of the Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations. His commission tracks hate crimes reported to Philly police, plus the calls the group gets about racial bias incidents. In 2020, there was an overall spike in calls, mostly, he says, because of their outreach. To educate particularly the Asian communities on the importance of reporting. The Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations received 28 reports of anti-Asian hate or bias in 2020. Nine of those were determined to be hate crimes, including six reported to police and three directly to the commission. In comparison, the eight reports received in 2019 were all for criminal acts. It's unclear, though, how many of those cases ended up in an arrest. In some cases, a police report is made, but there's little information on the offenders. Since last year, the district attorney's office has only charged one person with ethnic intimidation, the official hate crime charge in Pennsylvania. That's been disappointing to some community leaders, including John Chin, the executive director of the Philadelphia Chinatown Development Corporation. There are anti-hate laws in place, and the uh, district attorney's office needs to really look at that and, and use those tools uh, because I think the best thing we can do is try to deter uh, anti-hate from happening. Otherwise, he fears people will be even more reluctant to report hate crimes. People um, just feel like uh, there's no support even if they do report it. Uh, it's a shame, but, but that's the feeling. Where do you think the support should be coming from? The support has to come from, number one, our local government, whether it's city or state. Uh, it has to come from uh, law enforcement. It has to come from the district attorney's office. For the investigators, I'm Claudia Vargas, NBC 10 News.